and it's just I'm here for it and that's one of the reasons why you're coming to 2020 with me okay thank you for your service so good it smells so good I don't that as soon as I went into their bathroom I'm like what the hell is this like what smells like that and by the way I will link everything that I mentioned here in the description box hello my loves it's Ariani also known as Uptown Beauty and welcome to my channel so in this channel we talk about external beauty internal beauty spirituality and just a whole lot of empowering things so welcome to my channel this video is actually very very uh random and very like as you see me like on the spot i actually wanted to share uh with you guys my 2019 um self-care favorites and beauty favorites because these products you know i'm also bringing them in 2020 and um i will really recommend them all and i will tell you guys the reason why i would recommend them and yeah why why i love them so much so yeah um i'm gonna separate them into i guess i'll say three sections which is hair beauty and then like overall self-care so since this is the category that has the less items i'm actually going to start with self-care so these are some things that i use for self-care um just to get me in the right uh mood i will say like in the right mood i will use these things just to get me like where i want to be first I actually already mentioned this in another video but I and by the way guys I'm talking low because my baby's sleeping and I don't want him to wake up all my mom wants to know the struggle so um, I'm actually going to start with this um, resin uh, like this resins incense however you want to call it box so I actually got this box off Amazon I would say towards the end of the year middle of the year and I actually talked about this box uh, in a previous video which is kind of like my self-care my favorite self-care items this box contains some resins it also contains palo santo and some sage and I use this like if I want a certain scent to you know just to help me with getting in the right mood, I just love aromatherapy, you know, a lot of things, like, I, like, don't, have you ever got a, like, have you ever experienced, like, you smell something and it just irritates you, or, like, you experience, you smell something and it just, like, cold, calms you down, so basically, I, I used it, these for that, they are also meant to be used in a spiritual way, but, you know everything is truly spiritual yeah this is what i use it for and i really like it because it has nine of them as you can see and it's just really cute and besides that it's cute i really just like use them and i've been pre pretty much using this like every week at least once once a week now the next thing that i'll be talking about is essential oils i really got into essential oils in 2019 and it's something that i'm going to carry in 2020 essential oils are pretty much part of my lifestyle now and i i had this from 2018 actually because that's like my beginning like when i first started using oils and then towards the end of the year i got this lavender uh, therapeutic grade essential oil and i got this rose premium quality oil now so i got these off amazon and by the way i will link everything that i mentioned here in the description box but again um i use this as aromatherapy like and if i want to get in a certain mood i love using lavender um like a few drops like one or two like on my bed and my pillow and i kid you not guys i sleep like a baby this lavender is just so soothing like it's so soothing and i just use rose oil just to kind of perfume my home in a way on certain days when i want my home to have uh and to smell like 
it's sexy if you know what I mean so yeah I've been really loving essential oils and I don't know much about the quality of the oils uh, to be very honest but these do smell as what they say like for example this one smells like rose this one smells like lavender and then this one smells like eucalyptus um, you know I did read the reviews and they were talking great things not necessarily about the rose oil because they were like it's not 100% pure uh, rose oil but then it's not claiming to be 100% pure only the lavender the rose oil is just telling you that it's premium quality that it's good quality but it's not 100% but some people were complaining about that in the comment section on Amazon where I got it <laughs> going back to self-care I actually got this reed diffuser this teak wood and tobacco reed diffuser I have this in my bathroom I have a small bathroom I live here in New York I live in New York City so um, maybe if you have a bigger bathroom you need to get like two or three of these but one for me is enough I'm not usually into like woody or like musky scents but this right here this right here <laughs> this right here is it like I'm really like a flower girl like my favorite perfume is flower bomb so you <laughs> you know what I'm talking about but this stuff it just it smells so good in bathrooms and I actually got introduced to this because I went to do a wedding makeup in upstate New York and they had this in their bathroom and as soon as I, I remember that as soon as I went into their bathroom I'm like what the hell is this like what smells like that and I had to get it because this stuff is the truth the truth now we're gonna move into hair because that's the next category the first product that I will be talking about is the, the apple and aloe nutrition curl elixir by talia washi now from this collection i've only tried okay no i tried the leave-in which mm, it's okay i'm not really much of a leave-in girl even though now i'm starting to be more of a leave-in girl because it's winter time and my hair needs it but i've been really digging and loving this curl elixir it defines my curls so good like it defines my curls so good i really really love this stuff i'll probably put a picture somewhere here on the screen so you guys can see how good my hair looks when i style it when i style it with this product and use like a denman brush type of brush i cannot like talk enough about this product i mean i can't talk enough but okay i call myself flying there we're not doing that um but I just really like it and I would recommend it to 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 any curly girl because I really did enjoy this product and a little bit goes a long way and that's why I really like this product. I usually I also love from this collection the curl curl cream. I think that's what it is. I actually mentioned it in my hair in my uh, the spiritual meaning of the hair journey. Like um, it's sister, the product. I just don't I'll probably put it in the uh, screen right here now the only reason why I don't have that product on hand is it was because I actually went to the beauty supply store to get the product and they didn't have it so they had this product and I was like you know what let me try this it doesn't like it's in the same collection let me see if I like it and I actually did so I like them both <laughs> um, another product of mine that I love in 2019 and I will be con and I will bring it into 2020 is the Camel Rose curl maker with marshmallow and agave leaf extract this hair gel i will call it a hair gel it's similar to a hair gel this stuff is the truth this stuff is like i kid you not like it just defines the curls so good it leaves your curls super hydrated and again, a little bit goes a long way. And as you can see, as this has been pretty used up. And the funny thing about this is that I bought it maybe last year or at the beginning of this year. And you know, when I started my hair journey, 
I was just using a whole bunch of products just to try what works best for me so I remember that this um, I stopped using it and I was like you know what I remember my curls like really like it like my hair really liked this stuff so um, I was like let me get it again and I got it again and I'm like okay I'm not leaving you I'm not leaving you my baby no more I'm not leaving you you've been good to me <laughs> okay okay now this product I actually am very passionate about because it's actually a really good product this is the Suriel hair dropper now the Suriel hair dropper is really good for growing your hair and for hair loss and for hair patches and just pretty much anything to do with hair growth um, I love this oil I love this treatment because first of all most of the ingredient if not all the ingredients are naturally derived and it smells so good it smells so good it smells so good it has like that ginger i believe cinnamon like smell to it and why i like it is because it is something that you have to keep fresh you have to keep this product inside of the fridge and not that's not the main reason that i like i like it because it actually works um, my partner had like a little bald spot and it wasn't growing um, and it wasn't growing for a long time like I was like what the hell like you know this is not normal like he had like a little bald spot like I can't even not and um, his barber said that it might have been fungus in his hair so I actually got sent this product complimentary I tell you guys like she did send it to me for free um, but I was like you know how am I gonna try how am I gonna test it out I already have a lot of hair and for a curly girl to see like you know if this is like actually working it's gonna take a long time and for me to you know to recommend a product like that like I really have to try it out so you know he got the little ball spot and I was like I had it in the fridge and I was like oh my god this is the perfect time to test if this works and again he that ball like he had that ball spot for like a long time like weeks and it wasn't growing like his hair all around was growing but that little spot right there wasn't growing so as soon as I apply this uh, hair uh, uh, hair dropper I started to see like fun little fine hair starting to grow and I'm like <gasps> like two days later two days later after weeks of him not growing his hair and I was like what the hell like it wasn't big but it was big because he he didn't like he wasn't growing his hair like he wasn't growing his hair so um, I continue to apply it every single day after he took a shower I applied the drop and like in three to four weeks sorry okay I was about to sneeze but that didn't happen but in three to four weeks of three to four weeks of applying this product he had his bowl stop was full of hair just like his other hair in his head wait one second let me grab some tea because I'm getting a little bit dry my mouth is anyways and I think this might have been like my favorite product out of them all <laughs> because I saw how much it works like I kid you not now moving on now I became a fan of Ayurvedic hair care as soon as I went into my natural hair journey because two of my cousins, two of my cousins actually three of my cousins uh, introduced me to it and they you know explained why the herbs work and all of that and I don't know what happened it might have been like a thought or I saw a post I don't remember but I decided to do a Ayurvedic herbal shampoo and I decided to do it for 10 weeks actually it ended uh, this week uh, when I uh, shampoo my hair but I was using this shampoo for 10 weeks and it consisted of adding this, these herbs and I really liked it because it left my hair first of all super shiny second of all I knew what the shampoo had because I was the one that did it and it did its job like it cleansed my hair it cleaned my hair so I use amla powder which is uh, good I believe for the scalp 
or just to clean the hair overall all these are just like good for uh, hair cleansing and of course they do promote hair growth uh, amongst other um, great benefits for hair so <coughs> so I use amla powder neem powder and shikai kai pow shikakai powder I um, also use some dry hibiscus leaves right here and um, Aretha powder just to create some bubbles I'm not gonna go much into detail on this because I did shot what I'm calling a vlog mentory now it's taken me a long time because honestly sometimes being a perfectionist sucks so I'm trying to make it as pers as perfect as possible but honestly I feel like the information is what like what's best and just like you going through the journey with me and basically seeing the results the before and after and how I made the shampoo and yeah that's what I'm gonna talk about and actually this is the shampoo right here <laughs> this is the shampoo right here and I actually store it in the fridge as well so it can stay fresh and yeah you will see how I make it in the black metry when it comes out because it's just see much what I'm gonna do now when it comes to the beauty or makeup I'm gonna separate it into two things I'm gonna first talk about skincare and then I'm gonna talk about like my favorite makeup products which are not a lot I just put like four five actually the first thing that I'm gonna be talking about is the fountain of truth fresh face foaming cleanser now this cleanser is the truth when it comes to what luxury feels I've got to say that first of all my skin is super dry so this foaming cleanser left my skin super moisturized afterwards it is foamy like a cloud and that's what I really like about this stuff and yeah it was my favorite cleanser of 2019 and it's coming with me to 2020 there I said it now again with the oils I saw this woman's video on YouTube and she is an older lady with beautiful skin that video I think it went viral I think it was called lymphatic drainage massage something like that I will put a little bit of the video here a picture of the video and the video in the description box guys her skin looks amazing I highly suggest you guys check that video out if you are into anti-aging and just beautiful skincare like beautiful like for your skin to look beautiful like bless her soul like blessings to her and she was talking about like good oils for the skin and one of the oils that she mentioned was jojoba oil and I recently got into jojoba oil now one of the reasons this is uh, coming was a favorite in, in 2019 and it's coming to me and it's coming with me to 2020 is because first of all I like how it like how my skin looks I actually have it on right now it is the only thing that I have on my skin um, is a multi-purpose oil it is used for hair face body and it's just amazing and something that I noticed which I don't know why if there is <sighs> I mean anyways my camera shut off um, yeah mm, I always overheat <laughs> but anyways I love jojoba oil because I don't know what it is if there is any like skincare expert or like you know with oils but my pores I really like something my pores were kind of like opening up like right here and jojoba oil closed them up and I was like ah, you're closing up my large pores I'm here for it and that's one of the reason why you're coming to 2020 with me okay thank you for your service and the next item that I will be talking about is the Accure skincare because they have like hair care but like at your brilliantly brightening facial scrub da, 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 da. <laughs> I just love this stuff it leaves my skin super soft super smooth and it's just 
it's just it's just good like it's just good like i don't know what else to tell you but it's good now the last two items that i'll be talking about first being the lamb comb tunic comfort lotion riandriante lotion riandriante yeah <laughs> this lancome facial toner i will really recommend this toner if you have dry to really dry skin it's just amazing it balances your ph levels so good and your skin will really love it and that's why i like it now the last the last thing that i'll be talking about is the mbi facial moisturizer now i worked with mbi at the beginning of the year and i really have a good relationship with the with the brand and um i just love this stuff first of all this is the best moisturizer i have ever tried in my life and i kid you not in the sense that you know, moisturizer your skin like nothing else um and the ingredients are just amazing so what you're getting in this in this cream is just like it's amazing so yes you're coming with me to 2020 thank you for your service and now we're moving to makeup because i feel like the video is becoming too long even though i know that it was going to be long because i just have a lot of things um so we're gonna start off with a primer that it was a surprise to me that i liked and i'm going to be talking about the M the airborean extra matte facial primer now i have dry skin i've mentioned that <laughs> what i love about this primer because i use it in combination with the toner so i will tone my skin first and then i will use the primer so this doesn't dry up my skin <sighs> i cannot talk so many good things about this primer it just leaves my skin so smooth so perfectly matte so like poreless like I didn't even know that I was gonna like this stuff because it's like I don't know what to tell you but this stuff is so good so yes this primer is coming with me to 2020 thank you so much for your service in 2019 i didn't know that i was gonna love you but you know what that's what it is you know that's why you can't really judge something by its cover or by, by what you think it's like sometimes it's the way that you use it you know so um this is one of the cases because i was like what the hell am i gonna do with an not even matte but extra matte primer but this is good stuff good stuff and if you have oily skin <laughs> amazing for you amazing now i'm gonna talk about foundations and i actually grabbed two of them because when it comes to foundation um it doesn't have to be a high-end foundation in order for you to have like flawless skin skin that looks good it's the application also that matters but i'm bringing i'm gonna be talking about these two because Number one, the Huda Beauty Foundation is considered high-end. I consider it high-end. And then number two is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Like, honestly, if I have to choose one over the other, I will use the CoverGirl uh, True Blend Matte Made Foundation over the Huda Beauty because it just applies so good onto the skin if you want, like, flawless, flawless skin like if you want your skin to look flawless like this stuff is amazing and um yeah so if you're looking for high end i totally recommend the huda beauty i like it i like it and you know i'm not you know what's really funny now that i really think about it i'm not sure if i will rebuy this foundation it's not that it's a bad foundation but i have a better one <laughs> so um i will definitely be buying the cover girl foundation again so yeah but i just wanted to mention it because if you're looking for a high-end foundation then this is it but <laughs> yeah da -da -da -da. I, what i'm bringing to 2020 from 2019 and it was a favorite of mine's was the wet and wild lip liner and chestnut 7-eleven <sighs> this looks so good on medium skin tones 
I have yet in dark skin tones. I have yet to try it on like fair and light skin tones, but this that's how, that's how excited I got because it looks so good in person. It looks amazing, amazing. And I usually combine it with like new shades, but you can combine it with so many colors. But moving on onto my next favorite, which you know what's really funny? I thought I lost it. But I'm happy that I didn't. So it's the Estee Lauder Pure Color MV Liquid Matte Lipsticks. And the color that I love is 102 Bronze Leaf. Now this uh, lipstick with the Wet n Wild 7-Eleven Chestnut Lip Liner, that's it. That's it. It's over. It's it. Like, that's it for me. Okay? <laughs> and yes, guys. I'm feeling a little bit tired because it's already, it's already a little late, so I'm going to go to bed. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and was able to find something that might be helpful for you. And thank you all so much for watching. And again, all, all the products that I mentioned, I will put it a link in the description box. And I welcome 29th, 2020 with open arms and with a good attitude and i just feel like it's gonna be a great year for me i just have a feeling like i just have a feeling that it is so ciao